I'm in Belgrade for the Eastern AA Divisional Tournament. Only four of eight teams are going to make it to the state tournament. Let's start with the first round. Two seed Great Falls taking on Gallatin. Down one to zero, Bison senior Stephanie Jablonski shoots this past the right fielder for a two RBI double in the bottom of the first. Up three to one now, Danny Singer smokes one to right field for an RBI single. Bison up four to one in the third. Still in the third, Ryan Palmer crushes one to left center, and that gets two to come home. Eight to one, Great Falls. They go on to win, 14 to one. Three seed Billings West taking on six seed CMR. In the third, Ashley Wick hits a single to right for the Bears, and then she steals second. But the steal doesn't even matter as Emma Balsam absolutely crushes this one out of the park for a two-run shot. Still in the third, Lauren Blaschak gets a hold of this one to put it down the right field line for a double. McKenzie Matthews gets her home on an RBI single that goes off the left field wall. Billings West rolls to a 21-5 win. Four seed Belgrade taking on five seed Billings Skyview. In the bottom of the fourth, Belgrade up six to five. Kenna Thomas says, let me add on to that. She hits this one off the wall and center for an RBI triple to give the Panthers a two-run lead. Chloe Robinson slaps an RBI single the other way to give the Panthers a nine to five lead. Then it's Kenna Thomas again, crushing this one hard for a two RBI single. Panthers rolling this one 14 to five. Number one seed, Billings Senior taking on Bozeman. And the bottom of the first, Hollis Baker hits this one to the left center field gap for an RBI double. One to nothing Bronx. Runners on second and third, Page Op hits this one out to right field and the Hawks outfielder can't come up with it. Two runs will score and Op makes it to third and that makes it three to zero. Then it's Baker again hitting it hard past the second baseman and that'll play to run five to nothing Bronx and they go on to win eight to two to advance to the semis against Belgrade. So now with the first round wrapped up, let's get to the semifinals and see who's punching their ticket to the championship. Let's start with Great Falls against Billings West, all tied up at four in the fourth, and a Bison changes that with this RBI double into the gap to take a five to four lead. West comes back though, two on and Chloe Nelson annihilates this one into the left center field gap. A relay home would try to get the second run at the plate, but she is safe. Bears take a six to five lead. Hallie Spring gets her home, finding a hole right past the shortstop, seven to five West, and they win nine to six and are headed to the championship. Who will they get to face? Belgrade looking for revenge against the Billing Senior Bronx after being swept during the regular season. In the top of the first, bases juice for Belgrade and Aaron Eden crushes one dead center in the the center fielder is unable to come up with it. All three runs come in to score. Three to nothing, Panthers. Let's jump to the bottom of the sixth. Belgrade down four to three, but Shayless Osler strokes this one to the gap for an RBI double. That would tie the game. Osler on third here, and Talon Campbell hits this one deep enough to get Osler home on the sacrifice fly. In the top of the seventh, the Bronx would have one last chance. Two outs, runners on first and third. Kara Conway pops it up to second base, and the Panthers are headed to the championship to take on Billings West. In Belgrade, John Miller, MTN Sports.